Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening. Today's topic is about humility and sacrifice. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. God Uses Empty Cups Written and read by Emily Rose Massey Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Philippians 2, verses 3-4 a popular phrase that you hear online, especially among women, and mothers specifically, is, you can't pour from an empty cup, meaning you need to take care of yourself before you can take care of someone else. This phrase is used to support the importance of self-care and me time, but this often becomes an ideology completely centered around self. While I'm not advocating our own needs don't matter, this should not be the mentality of a Christian because the life of a Christian is one of sacrifice, selflessness, and humility. If we wait until all areas of our life are perfectly overflowing with all that we need with no issues or problems or suffering in sight before caring for others— we will most likely never take our gaze off of me, myself, and I, and we will never experience the beauty of relying upon God's grace in the midst of our own weakness and struggles to lay down our life for another. In Philippians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul exhorts the church at Philippi to imitate Christ's humility that led him to obedience, even to the point of his great sacrifice on the cross. Philippians 2 verse 8. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Philippians 2 verses 3 through 4. We, of course, can glean from this exhortation ourselves as we look to Jesus as our perfect model for the Christian life of sacrifice, selflessness, and humility. Because he regarded others more important than himself, Jesus stepped down from his heavenly throne, emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, being made in the likeness of men. Philippians 2 verse 7 If he listened to the world, he would be told he could do nothing for anyone else if he was running on empty. But Jesus showed us a better way to live. Although he was the God-man, truly God and truly man, Jesus showed us what true humility looks like. But he also showed us what a life completely dependent upon the Father looks like because the grace to pour out our lives for others comes only from him. Intersecting Faith and Life What does this way of living look like in your current season? Are you asking the Lord to give you opportunities to empty yourself even more and serve others, preferring others above yourself? One way God will conform us into the image of Christ so that we can truly imitate Him to others is to get us to the end of our own strength so that His strength can shine in and through us. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 When we are fully dependent upon God's grace, we are showing others that we can do nothing apart from Him. John 15 verse 5 Instead of looking for an escape from your trial, your exhaustion, your pain, by trying to fill up your own cup with whatever the world offers us as satisfying and fulfilling, perhaps the Lord wants you to look to Him first to satisfy you and fulfill your lack and limitations. This requires us to humble ourselves before God. He gives grace to the humble after all. James 4 verse 6 When you feel like you're running on empty, 
What things do you tend to try to fill yourself up with? We are often tempted to run to worldly distractions and temporary solutions when life is difficult. Another temptation we might face is to isolate ourselves from others. But one of the most loving things we can do is become vulnerable with others about what we are struggling with. This is how the body of Christ is able to bless each other as we meet each other's needs. If your cup is empty, perhaps God wants to use someone else to help you fill it up, to remind you of his truth, love, and grace, all while using you to do the same for another. Do you feel like your cup is empty? Then let's look to the Lord to use that emptiness for his glory by serving others as we point them to him and trusting he will fill us up with his grace and strength, conforming us to Christ's humility day by day. Further reading, Romans 12, verse 3, Psalm 28, verse 7, 2 Corinthians 12, verses 5 through 10. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.